All right, so we just talked about just normal rounding and estimating rounding to a specific place. Now the book also talks about something called front end rounding. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this, but you need to know what it is because you will see problems like this even on your final exam. Front end rounding is rounding It's rounding to the highest place value in a number. It's rounding to the highest place value in a number. So you'd go to the very first digit that you have of that number, and you would round to the nearest whatever it is. If it's the thousands, you round to the nearest thousands. If that first number is in the millions, you round to the nearest million. Um, so if we were to take a look back at um, some of the numbers that we had before, we talked about uh, the enrollment numbers, right? What do we say the enrollment was for Cypher ISD? I think it was, like, what, 111,000 and some change, right? What was it? You didn't write it down, did you? Three forty-eight. All right, perfect. Front end rounding would say, look at the highest place value that you have, which is the one, and round to this place. So, what place is that first one in? Hundred thousand. So, if you round to the nearest hundred thousands, what do you have? So, they're saying that would be. Rounding to the nearest hundred thousand, so that'd be one hundred thousand. If you see this symbol right here, we'll say approximately equal to. Use that if you're talking about rounding or you're trying to approximate something. And so that's that's what they're doing. You could take a number like seven thousand two hundred fifty. And so if you use front end rounding, if you round to the nearest this case, the nearest thousand, what would that be? 7, that would be 7,000. Now, remember, we use rounding to give us an idea about um, what the final answer may be. So if I have this number plus another number, um, and you, you'll see the book do something like this. So if I have 5,672 plus 3,000, whoops, I don't know what that is, 3,109. They'll say use front end rounding to estimate your answer. And that's what you should be doing. If I estimate this, what do I expect my answer to be? And then you can actually do the real math and figure out if you're close or not, because estimating shouldn't take a long time. If I were to estimate this, if I were to use front end rounding, looking at this guy, how would I round to the nearest thousand on this number? So this is about 6,000 plus use front end rounding here. That's about what? So very quickly, I would say that my estimated, a estimated answer would be about what? It would be about 9,000. So if I do the actual math, I should be somewhere in the neighborhood here. Now, this is not always the best thing to do um, in terms of you know, is your answer right or not? Because you have to think about what you're doing. When I round this guy, I rounded up, right? So that meant that I was going above what the real answer would be. Here, I rounded down, which meant I was going below what the real answer would be, right? So you see those guys offset each other just a little bit. If you rounded up on this, and this guy ended up rounding up as well, you should know that your final answer would be much more than the real answer. We're going to see some examples of that here in just a moment. Well, let's talk about what the actual answer would be. What is the exact answer? Because I don't want an estimation unless I ask you for one. So the exact answer would be taking 5,672 plus 3,109. I expect my answer to be around 9,000. So if you come up with an answer that's, say, 20,000, you're wrong, right? You know this makes sense. So when I add this, what do I have? So 
11 carry the 1, that's 8, 7, 8. So this is my actual answer. I estimated it to be about 9,000, so does my answer seem to make sense? Yes, it sounds reasonable. It's within that range of, of acceptability. You just have to make sure that you've added correctly, that you've carried and borrowed and done everything else you need to do. Yes, with me on that? Now let's look at some, some other examples that I have here for you.